Minister of Public Utilities Marvin Gonzalez is still awaiting the completion of an investigation into the 2023 Telecommunications Services of Trinidad and Tobago TSTT, cyber attack incident. In February, former TSTT CEO Lisa Agard and CFO Shiva Ramnarain made damning allegations against the company's board during a JSC hearing. Speaking at the commissioning of Phase 1 and 2 of the Lopino Historical Complex on Saturday, the minister was asked to provide an update on the investigation. This probe was called by me when I immediately recognized that conflicting information was being fed to the national community on whether or not customers' data was or was not compromised. TSTT's position up to the first and days after the first of November when I made that statement in Parliament that there was no compromise of customer data and you can check the records. There are people who sought to put their own definition of compromise. That is for you and the members of the public to make a determination but compromise is compromise. The minister said the personal information of TSTT customers, which was released on social media, contradicted TSTT's position that the information of customers wasn't compromised. As Minister of Public Utilities, I thought it was in the public's interest, and you can go back to my statement at that point in time, that this required a full-scale, independent probe so that the people of Trinidad and Tobago and the government of Trinidad and Tobago understand exactly what took place. And that is the reason why I called for that program. That is the background so what of that call. After you get the report? I promised the country that once that report is completed and it is submitted to me, the public will know the content of that report. He said the findings of the report will be laid in the parliament after he seeks the permission of the prime minister and the leader of government business. It will then be referred to the Joint Select Committee on State Enterprises.